Hi, everyone. I'm Heather Lennon, Sales Director for North South Books, and I'm so excited to have this chance to talk to you about our fall 2021 titles. North South is known for beautiful picture books from international authors and illustrators, and I think this is one of our best seasons yet. Let's take a look at the books. I think you all know Torben Kuhlman. Librarians, booksellers, children, and parents have all embraced Torben's Mouse Adventure series since it began with Lindbergh in 2014. We're excited for you to join us on the next Mouse Adventure. Einstein, The Fantastic Journey of a Mouse Through Space and Time, which will be on sale September 7th. There's so much to dig into with this series, great reviews, an ALA Bachelor Honor Award for Edison, immersive content, brilliant illustrations, fantastic STEM, STEAM tie-in, and a really appealing young creator in Torben. Um, his illustrations are just incredible. When an inventive mouse misses the biggest cheese festival the world has ever seen, he's determined to turn back the clock with the help of a mouse clockmaker, a lot of inventiveness, and a certain famous Swiss physicist, can he succeed in traveling back in time? The interiors are just gorgeous. Um, we also have a really adventurous marketing plan for reaching every reader. We have a fantastic book trailer that's available on the dedicated website, www.themouseadventures.com, as well as on our North South Books YouTube channel, print and digital advertising aimed at the trade and consumers. And Torben will be joining us for vi virtual events at SLJ's Day of Dialogue, ALA Annual, and the Southern Independent Booksellers Association Reader Meets Writer series. E-galleys are available for Einstein and all of our titles on Edelweiss NetGalley and also by emailing me. My contact information is at the end of this presentation. I hope you'll join us on the adventure with Einstein. Christmas is coming. This is a gorgeous 136 page volume of Christmas traditions from around the world, originally published in Poland. The illustrations are absolutely stunning, both bright, and irresistible. Why do we celebrate Christmas on December 25th? Who invented the first glass ornament? Why do people build nativity scenes? All of these questions will be answered. You can see some of the amazing interiors here. It really goes all over the world. I'll end with some amazing shots of these gnomes. Next up is the mountain. Argumentative animals come to an understanding in this funny story about perspective from Rebecca Guger and Simon Rothlisberger. They're a married duo, and their first book, Ida and the Whale, was an Indie Next pick, which received wonderful reviews. Brilliant illustrations and a sharp text combined to create a really beautiful book. My Mother's Delightful Deaths. Carla Has Hasselbauer's <laughs> debut picture book can be read on many different levels. It's a funny story about a mom who's a real drama queen. It's also a book about a family who supports a working mom. And it's a book about big emotions. It's a unique debut that's both fun and thoughtful. And I think her art style is really expressive. The mom is an opera singer in case you didn't catch that. Franz Ferdinand, the dancing walrus. Adorable Franz Ferdinand discovers a love of the dance with the help of some flamingo friends. Beautiful illustrations combined with best-selling author of The Rainbow Fish, Marcus Fister's child-friendly storytelling. It's always a treat to have something new from Marcus. Stories for Christmas. Eight classic titles from Bernadette Watts includes Bernadette's The Little Snowflake, The Little Drummer Boy, Shoemaker Martin, The Star Child, The Snow Queen, The Little Donkey, and The Christmas Story. The Bad Mood. Mr. Badger's bad mood affects everyone around him. Illustrator Amelie Joukowsky's wonderfully humorous illustrations are irresistible. Badger wakes up one morning feeling very grumpy and spreads his bad mood far and wide, greeting all of his friends with angry rude comments that put them in bad moods too. It's a comical cautionary tale for anyone who has ever gotten up on the wrong side of the bed. And it has a happy ending. This big, beautiful collection of Erwin Moser's Boris stories told in comic book style is brand new here in the United States. 
Loris is funny. The stories are simple and warm hearted. Erwin Moser passed away in 2017. He was one of Austria's most popular children's book authors. You can see it's sort of a fun blend of a comic book style, um, but really simple, really simple text, really actually very fun to read aloud. Children um, find this pretty funny and laugh a lot. Liz Zwerger's beautiful edition of A Christmas Carol has been updated with a new cover and new interior vignettes. Zwerger is a Hans Christian Andersen Award winner, which is illustration's highest honor. Her work is known for its inventiveness and unique perspective. It's a beautiful book. The Star Tree, what a sweet story. It's been out of print for at least 10 years and it's back celebrating friends and community and family with the simple story of an old man who brings a town together by decorating a park tree with paper stars. Author illustrator Gisela Kolle lives in Germany and has published many books there. Thanks for joining us to learn more about our fall list. Here at the School Library Journal Day of Dialogue, we have some wonderful books featured in our booth from spring summer authors as well, like Baptiste Paul and Miranda Paul in their book Peace, and Sean Julian um, for his book Norman's First Day at Dino Gay Care. We'll all be chatting in the booth. Um, we also have some fun giveaways for other titles, ARCs. So, you know, I hope you'll be able to come in and take a look around and enjoy everything. Last but not least, here's my contact information. Tag us on social media, reach out to me with your reviews. I really do love hearing from you and your thoughts on our books really do help inform our publishing program. So don't be shy. Thanks again. <laughs>